Hello there. Today we're talking vintage Tamiya. Well, a few months ago I did a video about my Tamiya Super Hot Shot, so um, today I thought I'd do another Tamiya video, and this time covering my vintage boomerang. Um, this one I actually raced when I was uh, was younger. I can't. Oh, when did I get this? I mean, about 1984 five something like that and uh, my father bought it as a project to build and then he thought it was a good idea if I could race it but um, all I did was mainly crash it I was not a very good um, remote control car driver back in the day um, yeah and then it got sort of stuck away for 30 odd years and uh, I found it in a box in my brother's garage so uh, a few years ago, so I took it home, stripped it down and rebuilt it. Um, yeah, uh, what I'll do is I'll throw in some um, photos and videos of uh, what, me uh, rebuilding it and uh, the work that I had to do. It was basically a complete strip down and everything cleaned up and everything rebuilt from scratch. What a piece of junk. okay then so yeah after i think it took me about three weeks to totally rebuild everything and then trying to set up the electronics was an utter nightmare and the damn thing would just go off and do its own thing so on its first proper test run everything was going fine and then it crashed into a dustbin because it just went completely out of control um and of course, then in crashing into a dustbin, it smashed one of the front wheels completely off. That broke the uprights, that broke the suspension um, arms. So I had to replace quite a few bits. Luckily, you could still get them on, uh, on eBay and uh, for a fair price actually. Um, but then I rebuilt the thing again, tried it again, and crashed it again so after that run I decided that's enough um, I'm not gonna run it anymore I, I'll clean it up again and just it can be a, 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 a shelf uh, princess what I did do this was back in 2017 
is that was when they re-released the uh, Boomerang. So I went out and bought the 2017 re-release Boomerang, which is also where I got that artwork from. Unfortunately, my uh, re-release Boomerang is in the UK at the moment, so I can't show that, but I'm hoping to get it back maybe this year, end of this year, beginning of next year, in which case then I'll, I'll make a movie, a video about that one. Okay, so let's have a closer look at this thing. These wheels are from the re-release. The original wheels that I had uh, went yellow and cracked and the tires have completely disintegrated. Um, the ones I've put on, the, on my re-release ones are uh, obviously different because uh, the original ones are on here. If we take the bodywork off, you'll see inside there's not much in there. There's only the, serv the steering servo is in there and the big resistor on top there. All old electronics. I have the uh, original hop top motor in there, the Le Mans uh, 600 something, 6003 which was quite a nice uh, hop top motor for the time and it had a 17 tooth um, pinion gear on it which made it really really quick down the straights but really terrible for initial acceleration when you really needed it coming out of the corners or the beginning of the race but then my father set it all up I, I, I was only eight years old I think when I was racing this thing so um, setting the gearbox up was a little bit above my um, skill grade at the time. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I, I did look to see if I had any photos of uh, when this thing was new, but um, I don't have any anymore. Uh, what I do have is the battery cover, which conveniently fell off a moment ago. Just the original standard battery cover, but the pin I'm using now, as you can see, is this now which funny enough I, I have no idea what happened to the original pin but this was what was stuck in it when I when I found it in the box in my brother's garage so um, that's what's with it now I did get some uh, extra bits so uh, if I wanted to I could change all, all these broken bits but I kind of like having the vintage blue on there where it's faded in time uh, it's a little bit broken but that kind of gives it character right well, the suspension is all original and the bodywork is also original as you can tell it's pretty much beaten up you can also see obviously that this is black and it's not white like it was in the box art but it's, uh, it's exactly the same as with the um, super hot shot I not a big fan of following the box art lots of people do i understand why you would do that but i just like to be a bit more creative and make my own thing so i did buy a um a reproduction bodywork with reproduction stickers and uh i built exactly the same bodywork again but that is with my new car which is in uh, as i say in the uk so that's my vintage Tamiya Boomerang. Um, just one last thing I wanted to show is the offending speed controller. Now, if you have one of these vintage cars and you are still using these analog speed controllers, then you are a hero. If you can get these things to work so your car doesn't crash, you are an absolute legend. I know it's all, it must all be in the length of this rod to the connection to the, yeah, it's a modern day digital speed controllers just, just make this thing completely obsolete, but I kept it because it's pretty cool vintage uh, electronics. 
Now, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little look at my vintage boomerang. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, like it. Like it. Make sure you like it. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, share the video, all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you on the next one.